Following yet another airline blunder, tonight 2 News is asking what's being done to address these problems. This is video from our own Heidi Hatch's Delta flight from Salt Lake to Amsterdam. Yeah, she says it was turned around at the U.S.-Canadian border after an engine cover was found on the tarmac in Salt Lake. Thanks for joining us for 2 News at 10 tonight. I'm Mark Cavell. And I'm Jamie McGriff. This on the heels of Boeing's CEO now stepping down following yet another aircraft malfunction. Ariel Harrison is live from Salt Lake International tonight. Ariel. Well, tonight, an experienced pilot who wanted to remain off camera shared with me that he feels these incidents are more so stemming from maintenance issues over design flaws. Additionally, an FAA spokeswoman confirmed a pilot shortage isn't the only shortage this industry is battling right now. You hear about one instance or a couple instances, and for the most part, it's still considered the safest way to travel. Traveler Bradley Tibbetts says flying is still one of the best ways to get away. This video was taken by our own Heidi Hatch on an internationally bound Delta flight. She says the pilot told passengers they had to turn back because a key piece of the aircraft was left behind on the tarmac and they wouldn't have enough fuel to cross the Atlantic. Does that concern you to hear like pieces of aircraft are coming off, things like that? Yeah, of course it does, but it sounds like the airline recognized the problem and, and tried to fix it. This FAA website shows a log of the incidents the federal agency is currently investigating. You can see two commercial flights made the list recently over reported flap and engine issues. With it being in the news and the headlines recently, what do you tell your students? This is an industry that they feel has uh, a lot of growth potential for them. These tea hangers out here. Rob Bennett, an experienced mechanic turned instructor, says right now there's a huge demand in the aviation maintenance industry. Industry, and his students see that despite headlines. If anything, it probably affects them positively to think, hey, maybe I need a little better training. Maybe maybe need to pay a little better attention in class so that I understand these things so that maybe I won't make mistakes that would make something like that happen. Like the FAA, Bennett says there's a need for skilled workers. The average age of aircraft mechanics right now, they're within five years or so of retirement. So they're looking at losing a lot of aircraft mechanics here in the next few years. Hopefully we'll get some more people hired in these places so we can make sure we're safe. Tonight, I also asked the FAA about efforts to attract the next generation of workers in a statement they sent to us saying essentially uh, that they are providing grants right now to educational programs and the aviation community to help prepare future pilots and maintenance technicians, end quote. Now, I have also put a link from the FAA website in this story with on KUTV.com so you can check out any reported issues with aircrafts that they are currently investigating. Reporting live from Salt Lake International, Ariel Harrison, KUTV2 News.